What up, nerds? Jared Santo here with Changelog. Going to kick the tires with you today on XBar, a cool macOS utility for putting anything in your menu bar. Now, this previously was called BitBar. It has gotten a rewrite in Go using the Fine UI Toolkit, which means it's set up to potentially go cross-platform. It's macOS for now. But we did an episode with its author, Matt Ryer, on the Changelog a while back. And I thought this would be a fun thing to kick the tires on. So what we're going to do is install a couple of plugins and as well as write our own. So I've already got XBar installed. That's the easy part. And once you do have it installed, you get this little menu item up here. And you can browse the plugins either on the website or right in this built-in plugin browser. So from here, we can pick and choose install some things. This is very much a hacker's tool. So these are just shell scripts or Python scripts that you can tweak and modify. And I thought we'd infall, install a couple of them. So the first one that I think is amazing, of course, is dad jokes. The plugin tells you right on dad jokes. So click that install. You can see the source code right down here. And what's this thing even doing? Well, it's apparently just uh, curling. I can has dadjoke.com and <laughs> displaying them in your menu bar. So it adds the laughing emoji. And it says this furniture store keeps emailing me. All I wanted was one nightstand. Oh, and of course you can grab the next dad joke. Two peanuts were walking down the street. One was a salted. Oh, I thought there was more to that. Get it? Salted, assault. All right, so there's that one, kind of silly, but fun. There are more useful things. If we look at networking, we can display current bandwidth. All sorts of stuff, bandwidth, IP address info, is your internet up or down, VPN status, SSH status, Kind of goes on and on. There are games. XBar was originally called BitBar because it was all about crypto, checking the Bitcoin price. So of course there's a rich crypto plugin library, as well as a few written by Matt Ryer himself, XBar's author. And there are tools for developers, of course, and many other things. Here is one if you are obsessed with tracking COVID-19 cases. This one will track them there, right there in your menu bar for you. See what happens here. And there we go. In South Korea, they are down 2381 new cases today. So that is good news. And this plugin is editable, of course, because maybe you want to see your own country. So you can change the country and show or hide daily cases beside the icon. So can we edit it right here? That would be cool if I could just change this, these variables. Country equals KR. Looks like I can just open this in an external editor. What's it going to launch? What's it going to launch? Hmm. Oh no, it's launching Xcode. Stop. Stop. The cool thing is these just live in a folder. So they're just executable files. And they just install to this folder right here. So I could just open that with them, I would assume. Yeah, change the country. Where was that? Country equals US. See what happens here. Give it the old refresh all. Look at that. U.S. way down today. So that's cool. But of course the real cool thing about XBar is because all it's doing is running execu executables that output very specific displays, you can write your own plugins very easily. So while we're on the show, I asked Matt about this. We played a game called Can XBar Do This or Do That? I don't remember. And let's take a listen. Come on, man. Can it show me how many people it's are featured. currently on changelog.com? What, you mean the Google Analytics or some other analytics? Well, we use Plausible, but it, does it support Google Analytics? 
Yes, it does support Google Analytics. I don't think that's true. Nice. And we, I believe Plausible has an API now, so we could probably wire that one together. Yeah. What was the question again? Can it show how many people are currently on Chainsaw.com? Like, what if that was right in your menu bar? Mm. Okay, yeah. There you go. That's nice. Talk about obsessing over numbers. Yeah, that would mm. be cool. That would be cool. And it would be obsessing over numbers. Now, I went searching for this Google Analytics support, and I don't know if the plugin no longer exists, or maybe I just am I'm bad at finding things. But I couldn't find that one. I thought we would copy it. But it's actually so simple that I don't even think we need to copy it. So I went out to Plausible. If you haven't heard of Plausible, we do have an entire episode about Plausible. We are customers of theirs now. They are simple and privacy-friendly Google Analytics alternative. They're also open source. They're also written in Elixir. They're also indie, so we love supporting them. And they have very streamlined and just very useful analytics that we like. They also have an API, so that's exactly what I was looking for. And the question is, can you get real-time visitors? And I did find this endpoint right here. So how easy is that? All you have to do is have your API token, and then you just curl this endpoint. Let's give it a try. Ooh. See what happens. And looks like I just got two lines. Oh, I got to set site ID which ours is changelog.com. Let's see here, there we go. Okay, now I'm missing my API key. And you have to set it as authorization bearer. So let's do this line here. And put it there, now I did. I did already generate one, let me grab that this use case here and you can see it says right there 19 so all it does is just return just the text of the current visitors so that's pretty simple and so plot or not plausible but xbar has a guide to writing your own plugins and it's really straightforward you just name them name the script based on what the thing is, the refresh rate, and the extension. So we can just take this script right here and just turn it into something like uh, plausible. Actually, let's just move to that directory now because I was going to drop it in. But if we just get to that directory, then we can just create it right there. Boom. So now I'm in the plugins directory. And I can just vim plausible dot, uh, what, 10 seconds? Well, that would work. Dot sh. Uh, give it a shebang. User bin env. Oh. Bash. Paste. Don't paste that. this boom save and close there she blows should work refresh all hmm permission denied okay it's not executable so we'll change the mode plus X on that file boom Refresh all. And there it is. Boom. Not quite there. Typo. Let me get rid of this. This was just uh because I was doing it at the command line. Let's see if this works. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's already updated. There it is. So, COVID-19 tracker, stupid dad joke thing, and what is kind of useful is real-time updating of how many people are on my website right now, all in just a few minutes. 
So xbar can do many things, and you can make it do darn near anything you want because it's just running some sort of executable program. You can use bash, you can write it in Python, anything that will execute on your local environment, you can make happen. And then if it's something that's generally useful, you can release those for other people to use. And I think that's pretty cool. So that's kicking the tires. That's xbar. This is the change log. I'm Jared Santo, and we will do this again sometime real soon. Yeah.